What is up? Snowboard 303 fam, welcome back to another edition of your favorite, and eh, maybe top three favorite snowboard channels. I'm Corey and we are out here today with the homie Ari and we are at Copper Man shredding today. It's been a beautiful day. We're up here on a Tuesday, so there is nobody up here. It's absolutely fantastic. In this video, I want us to talk about being an efficient rider, right? If we want to have the best time on the mountain, we got to make sure that we're able to conserve our energy and use our body as efficiently as possible. You're going to have the best time that way, right? And so as a guy who's done fitness conditioning and sports training my whole life, really kind of the whole thing with being good at fitness or any other type of sport is being as efficient with your muscles and your body as possible. There's the homie Ari. So what I want us to do here, man, is I want us to think about how we're actually turning and where the weight is actually going. So we're talking about being efficient on the snowboard, right? Ari has been riding for a number of years now since he was a kid and um, that's great. And he's, he's a good rider, but there's a few inefficiencies that I think if we could actually kind of push past these a little bit more, riding is going to get smoother. You'll last longer and have a little bit more fun. Right? And that's really the whole point. Hey, and if you guys haven't yet, don't forget, it's a little subscribe button right down there. And you guys are gonna wanna hit that. It's super, super important. But I'll also say, if you don't wanna hit it, don't hit it. But would love for you guys to subscribe. All right, so what I want us to do, Ari, is actually let's not even, I don't, let's not even do any lessons or anything right now. Let's just, we're just gonna follow you down. We'll maybe meet just kind of past that tree line, maybe at the next little spot, and then we'll uh, kind of go over the ride. Let's All hit right. it, big dog. Let's see what you got. Dude, so the way I like to think about it is the edges, the fun part is using the edge, right? But we can either use the edge to carve or we can use it to actually break, right? And so if we were just going straight down, right? If we were just going straight this way and we were kind of going heel side and then toe side and heel side, but we're kind of going in a straighter line, maybe a little S, we're gonna kind of be pumping the brakes the whole time. Sure there's a time and a place for it, obviously, but if we can get a little bit more of like this bending S pattern where you're leaning into your toes, leaning onto the heel, and you can kind of press on the snow, that's when you feel a little bit of the G-forces. All right, so here's kind of how it looks a little bit from, uh, here's how it looks when you're riding a little bit. I'll just go right up here and I'll have you come meet me. We're going straight and then turn and break. If I demoed that well, yeah. All right, so what I want us to try and do, and that's good, right? It's like we can go heel toe. It's kind of the first step of course of action. Um, what we're gonna try and do is sink into the legs a little bit more, especially once we get a little speed, probably over that little hump right there. Uh -huh. I want you to see if you can kind of like bend the legs a little bit more. And as the board is going, let's say straight, and then we start kind of getting on, we ride regular, right? So as we start going to the left and we get on the heel side, see if we can kind of like put a little weight on that front heel and kind of bend into it without spraying all the snow necessarily, but kind of riding 
riding on the edge, seeing if we can get a nice crisp, clean edge with the thing. And then as we bend back to the other side, kind of really lean into the kind of the front part of the foot and really bend through it, right? So we're not necessarily just braking as we go. It's more riding the edge and that will also naturally slow you down. So you could almost think maybe kind of like a bigger S turn with like more lean onto the front foot, the front toe or the front heel like so. Or if you get a nice clear shot, right? It's like you can just kind of lean into the toe side and just kind of take off. All right. Does that make any sense to you? Yep. All right. Man. All right, you want me to go first? Sure. So you can get, or here, why don't you follow me, try to copy kind of how your body is actually opening up on the heel side, and then you're gonna kind of close off a little bit more on the toe side without kind of spraying that back foot around a little bit. Okay, let's try that. Let's make sure the traffic is gone because I'm not a traffic guy. All right, here we go. Get some speed to start. Yeah, keep going. That's it. Nice, there we go. See, the secret is to be able to put the weight on the front foot. Oh, we got too much people here. Let's let them go. If we're working on something like this, I don't want people all the way around. There's a few vomiting. See, you get these little patches of people and then everybody's gone. Nice, Ari, that looks better. guys can kind of see a difference on really how I lean into that front foot really bend in and then when I'm going heel side I really open up that body and again put weight on that front foot here would be an inefficient pattern you can ride and that's fun and that's all well and good but if you can learn to kind of carve and really lean into that front side one direction or the other that's really where the magic is man how did that feel any different a lot different what'd you feel okay. so when i push into my heel when i'm doing those curves i feel a lot more balanced i'm having trouble when I do toe edge pushing into my toe. Oh, interesting. Usually it's like, when I'm on toe edge, it feels like my back leg is in control, but I am feeling more comfortable with the speed doing that huh. when I'm doing uh, heel edge. Nice, nice. Yeah, I think, yeah, it's good, good stuff, man. I guess my favorite is toe edge, right? When it's like, especially if you're getting a nice, fast, straight line going, you're kind of bombing it a little bit, you can kind of ride that heel or that toe side it feels great, right? And so ideally, if you're looking from the back, the back view, right? Your body would 
again, riding toe side, your body would almost be on a little bit of an angle like this. And yeah. You're kind of just standing there. Yes, you're bent into the legs, but as you're just standing and leaning, you know, over the board slightly without kind of pressing that back foot around, that's going to break you, right? right? And you don't necessarily want to break all the time. Time and a place, of course, but I like to kind of ride the edges a little bit. And then if I feel like I need to break, I typically, well, toe side or heel side, kind of spin the back foot around, I'll kind of pop the brakes and press into the snow, and then I'll continue to ride off the edge. Got it. Does that okay. make any sense? That makes sense. Nice. I'm going to try doing that with my toe edge a little bit more. Yeah, see, and we'll do this for the next couple runs, right? But yeah. feeling the weight distribution, I think is kind of, once I was able to really start focusing less on heel side, toe side, where's the mountain, this and this, right? And you can start feeling the weight distribution on how we're actually moving across the mountain. That's kind of the fun part. So that's kind of how I end up playing around with a lot of the stuff is where's my weight distribution? How far am I leaning? How far can I kind of, it's not almost like pressing into the snow, but you want to make sure that you're getting that edge in to actually use yeah. it to bend you. I think, you know? yeah, using my front foot a little bit more. Yeah. That really helps with balance. Something to think about. And as always, dude, when there's all this traffic and all that bullshit, they'll let them just go through it. Yeah. Because fuck that, dude. I'm a spoiled snowboarder. <laughs> all right. All right. Now watch me try and copy if you can. You just turn the whole body into the snow and you're good to go. See how he's doing here? Yeah, a little bit better. I think he needs to open up that chest a little bit more on that heel side. Nice, dude. Last little bit, dude. That looks good. good. On that heel side. See if you can kind of like open up that chest like that, and then kind of like, yeah, you're bending into that front side, and then on the toe side, you're gonna close yourself off a little bit more. But Ari, you're the man, dude. This is good you're shit. I love man. being up here. Guys, Copper, this, this is my favorite mountain. This is one of the best. Looking great. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful day. Hey, and remember what you guys give us, Snowboard 303. You don't get all these bullshit edits. I'm not doing backflips off the half pipes and you know 720 mctwist and all that nonsense <laughs> you're just getting some good colorado ripping so thank you guys for tuning in again hit that like button send me a comment man let me know if this video is helpful for you at all and outside of that keep ripping out there we'll see you guys soon